Right. Good afternoon. What about others? Still there taking lunch? Right. Anyway, I'll start. Right. So now the sixth question implement NAPS, zero bar one NAPS NAP problem using the dynamic programming. So that is what they we have to do it now. So NAPS NAP problem using dynamic programming. So now before going for this, I have written this problem. Hello. Can you able to see the NAPS NAP problem here? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. All ah, right. So this we have done it today's class problem also, and last week I have solved it. This one how to write it also I told you zero j minus w of i j w zero i minus one i n. Suppose if you want to calculate v of i comma j, so I told you v of i minus one comma j previous values. Uh, if it is j minus w of i less than zero. If it is j minus w of i is greater than zero means this one. What is that called? Maximum of v of i minus one comma j comma v i plus this one. So v of i minus one comma j minus w of i. That's what if j minus w of i is greater than zero. So this is what the program we have to write it. This one how to write it? I'll tell you now using the programming. This is what the initial conditions. So if i is equal to zero. Or j is equal to zero, v of i comma j will values will become zero. That is what the initial conditions. Now the input values items one, two, three, four. You have to take it. Weights also four input values you have to take. Uh, either values or profits also four values you have to take it. So w one array, v one array, c is nothing but the capacity. Items is nothing but one, two, three, four. This is what the input you have to take. Take it. Now we'll move to the program first. We have to take how many items are there? That is called four items. Correspondingly, you have to take weight and profit. So that is called the this one and this one, this one, this one. Three twenty two fifteen. So this you have to store into the array one array. This one values you have to store into the one array. That is what your input values. Now let us move to the program now. Right. So, can you able to see the code here, Arjun? Yes. So yes, so yes, so. Ah uh, yes, madam. See here, no need to by heart any line here. Just concentrate ten to fifteen minutes. That's it. Because already you have solved morning also problem, and you know the equations also. So just. Starting from the main program, main uh, you know how to write. I have used only two functions. One is called the nav snap problem. One is called the maximum. Now let us come to the main program. So here is parallelly. I will open it here. Hmm. So, see here. Enter the nav snap size. How much size is here? One, two, three, four. Once you give four here, it will be taken the four. Now what you have to take is corresponding weights and values. So for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n i plus plus. That means what? One, two, three, four. This loop will be taken. When it is taking one, correspondingly it is asking the weights and values. So enter the weights of here. I have entered w. That is nothing but the i. So i is nothing but here it will be printing. That is nothing but the W one, V one, W two, V two, W three, V three, 
so w4 v4 so it will be displaying correspondingly that that i values your entry it will be displaying there and you will be entering the values weight is nothing but 2 if you enter it it will be storing into this array 12 this array next one this array two locations 10 correspondingly three also here correspondingly 20 next two here correspondingly 15 this values will be taken next is enter the capacity that's it your input values over now you are calling the function nashnak of w comma v comma n w is nothing but this array v is nothing but this array n is nothing but the how many in input values are there now here is w values is nothing but 2 3 3 2 copied here now values is nothing but 12 10 20 15 is copied to this array how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 elements will be copied here. So that is what they, your program now. Now let us move to the code here. Right. Now see here, when i is equal to 4, how many values is required? 5 values are required. That is nothing but one more values is required. So but here in this values, 0 is not there. But we have to take here zero also initial values that is the reason here i is equal to zero to n is nothing but four plus one this is what the final answer that is what i want here n plus one i plus plus now j is equal to zero one two three four up to here so j values is nothing but this one i values is nothing but this one so here is j one two three four five i is nothing but 0 1 2 3 4 even if you want this one you can make it called up to 4 also it will work if you for if you enter plus 1 also no problem so even if you are giving up to here also it will work because i is nothing but up to 4 j is nothing but 1 to 5 so one more value extra will be calculated no problem here even if you put it also not putting also no problem right now what will happen see here condition is this is nothing but zero so this is nothing but the j so here is nothing but i is equal to zero here is i is equal to zero this is nothing but j is equal to zero write it here if i is equal to zero or j is equal to zero p of i comma j is equal to zero that means what in these locations I, this is nothing but the j is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 also 0 only, 2 also 0 only, 3 also 0, 4 also 0, 5 also 0. Now i value is also same thing, when i is equal to 0 also, 1 also, 2 also, 3 also, 4 also. This condition is this one, if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0, p of i comma j, that means this locations, this locations will become 0, that is what this statement, else. Now what you have written condition here? If j is less than 0 here, j is j minus w of i is less than 0 means p of i comma j. If this values is less than 0, this values will be taken. That is nothing but p of i comma j is equal to instead of b, we have written p that's all. Even if you want profit, that is the meaning I have taken. If you want, you can change v also, no problem. v of i comma j is equal to v of i minus 1 comma j, that's all. So see here from the table, same thing here. There is no nothing extra. Now, else what we have done, P of i comma j is equal to what you have to write? This maximum of the same condition, V of i minus one comma j, same thing I have written, comma. V of i, that is nothing but V of i, value of i plus P of i minus one j minus W of i, that's it. So that is what the, we have to write the profit values of this. So here just change it into the, this also P only, no problem. Write it P only. P of i, sorry, V i only, no, this one, value of i only. V of i and P of i minus one comma j minus one, Oh, sorry, even you can write P also, no problem. Because we have changed it to P now. So P of I and P into I minus 1, J minus W of I. Anything difference is there, please let me know now. So this statement.
right see here we are five instead of v we have written p even if you change p or v also nothing will happen so p of i minus 1 comma j this condition maximum of p of i minus 1 comma j p i plus p of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 p of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 here is we have written the locations here arrays we have written representation that's it anything do you have any doubts students arjun any doubts rashmi any doubt hello no so okay. all right so these were the way of writing the code here and this is what the output now now that's all your program over so now print up the resultant matrix now for i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to n plus 1 i plus plus j is equal to 0 j less than or n plus 1 i uh, j plus plus print of percentage d p of i comma j so that is nothing but to print the slash n to print the matrix form now just i'll compile this same problem check it out here Line number nav sub function 30 plus warning max makes the integer from the pointer with the cost. So, my error is showing line number 36. All right. So here is you enter it. That is the reason I have taken value only. You take it. So because here you have taken p is nothing but the two-dimensional array. So corresponding values only you have to take it. That is the reason that one is showing. Right now run the program dot slash a dot out now enter the size is nothing but 4 now enter the weights 1 2 it is visible there 2 is nothing but 12 uh, w2 is nothing but 1 same problem whatever we have done it 10 Next 3 is nothing but W3 is nothing but 3, values is nothing but 20, next to 2, this is called 15. So capacity is nothing but 5. So here is one more row is printing extra that you can be delete it using like this. Where is the I values? Just for showing purpose, I have done it there, sir. Okay. Now run the program. Right, enter size is 4, 2, 12, 1, 10, 3, 20. 215 capacity is nothing but 5 so values is nothing but 37 so same thing we got it yesterday also so same problem here we got it also 37 see here here it is there now 0 0 0 0 0 12 12 next to 10 12 22 22 22 next is 0 10 12 22 30 32 10 15 25 30 37 so do you got the same values or not huh do you got same values or not yesterday's problem 
see here i don't know how you are getting uh, here parallelly i am showing so this values and this values are same now um, who is here srinidhi srinidhi yes sir uh, can you tell me morning you have solved yes, the problem no uh, tell me the that yes, value sir. What is the size? Four items. Four items. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, tell me the weight. Uh, w one and value one. It's a seven. All right. Forty two uh. value. Forty two na. Ah, uh, three. Uh. Yeah. That uh, weight three. Ah, uh, uh, twelve value. Right. Next W three four weight four weight ah forty value hmm five weight hmm twenty five value capacity ten how much you got forty sir so Last same time. table you got do you got it yes sir hmm that's sir. So your answer is right. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. So any doubts to write this code? Any problem? Do you have any problems to write this code? Uh, Srinidhi. Srinidhi. Yes, sir. When I am showing this, are you getting two windows parallelly, or how you are getting? Sir, it it is showing half of sir. No, but values are visible. Sir, no sir, half 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 value is visible sir. Sir, this table only half of ah. Huh? Uh, only four uh, four. Ah, uh, now it is showing sir. No. Okay. It is okay. not showing. Um, So now parallel you can you able to see both the windows No sir Now uh, yes sir now I see now I see Huh You can Now it is showing sir Huh Now it is showing sir Both the both the windows Yes sir Okay See so say uh, that's what I'm telling you what I'm telling you is So when I am moving, as it is moving, ah, huh? left to right adjustments. Yes, sir. All right. So here is once again I will tell you how. What this is nothing but how many items are there? Scan of n. Next is i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. That is nothing but one to four. So you have to give correspondingly weights and values. So it will display w one. v1 w2 v2 w3 v3 w4 v4 because of this loop it is taking four values that values we are storing into the w and v next is nothing but print f enter the capacity scan f that is called the capacity actually this value here it is uh, not required we are not using anywhere but anyway problems they have given we have given we have taken here also that's it so when you are calling the function w of 10 v of 10 int n So there is nothing but the next what will happen for i z int i values. So here is instead of here two dimensional arrays we are taking. That is the reason p of i comma j have taken. V i only the second statement v i is there. Now only this you give v i values. Remaining you change it to p. That's it. So here is what will happen. Whether this first row and first column values will become zero. How to write it? Whether i is equal to zero or j is equal to zero, profit of i comma j is equal to zero. Else, j minus w of i is less than zero means corresponding this p of i minus one comma j. That's all here. Else, else p of i minus j is equal to p of i minus one comma j comma v i plus p of v of i minus one comma j minus w of i. That's what the here answer. 
we have written see here for that we have written the maximum maximum of this comma vi plus this so which is the maximum that we have taken because we have done it already the same values have written it here also so no need to by heart anything so just this is the thing but the printing the values and here maximum you have to write the one function that is what i have written it here i will use the terminative function here in mn written m is greater than n question mark m colon n using ternary operator no sir i am feeling bit difficult you can use this also if m is greater than n written m else n so that is what this statement also does it so if you have any statement problems so how i have done the program that's all here so any statement if you have any problem please let me know this so one line one character also i have not done anything extra here just copy it from seeing this that's it so once you write this table and initial conditions this these two if you know you can write the values here so examination just you assume like this problems you have to take it and have to write initial condition recurrence relation so recurrence relation how you got based on this table so once you write this table recurrence relation the same conditions here you are writing that's all in function also so function that's all whatever you have written here in conditions what i will write it if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 p of i comma j is equal to 0 yes Uh, this one j minus w of i is less than zero. This if it is greater than zero, this that's what I have written. Any doubts? Please ask. Me. Any doubt now? Any doubt? No, so so you can write it now. An examination. You whoever get this problem, full marks. Compared to linear search, binary search also easy. Like this only, all the problems you have to learn it. Even the next class we see Marshall algorithm and Floyd's algorithm. That is also like this only. So whoever understood the problems, have you done all of you morning by your own uh, whatever I have given the problem? Whoever done, whoever solved the problems morning. so for them there is no problem whoever not done that you have to face the problem that's it what screen is correct now yes sir whoever done problem morning writing program i think you will not have any problems no difficulties to write the problem right so can you copy it now i hope you can write it but anyway you can copy the program Read it. I'll take that one. Yes. Why less students are there? Srinidhi, Srinivas. What about other people? Only thirty-four are there. Huh? Okay, you need to copy it.
actually when you are doing like this this values is not required huh? you can make on comment also no problem or if you are doing also okay Copied. Yes, sir.
श्रीनिधि कपिल यस सर दर्शित This is optional. If you want, you can write it. Otherwise, it's not required. That's what comment line here. Same statement. The way of writing is nothing but this one. 
so if you are not comfortable with ternary operator you write it this if you are comfortable with the ternary operator you can go ahead with this one Copy it. Yes, sir. What about others? Anybody is not copied still copying? All of you copy it. Over to. Okay. Now write this output. Huh? input size to up to here up to this much you copy it Copy. Here, so.
how come now 42 it was 35 now it became to 42 while taking attendance people are joining huh? Huh? right tell me the attendance one two three present sir four yes sir five six six seven present sir eight present sir nine present sir ten present sir eleven present sir twelve present sir thirteen thirteen absent fourteen present sir sixteen present sir seventeen present sir eighteen present sir nineteen present sir twenty present sir twenty one present sir twenty two twenty two ginger singh twenty three present sir twenty twenty four kishore twenty five Yes, sir. Twenty six. Present, sir. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Manjunath. Manjunath. Right. Next twenty eight. Present, sir. Twenty nine. Yes, sir. Thirty. Thirty. Nishant. Okay. TD series two. Present, sir. Three. Present, sir. Four. Present, sir. Five. Present, sir. Six. Present, sir. Seven. Present, sir. Eight. Present, sir. Nine. Present, sir. Ten. Present sir. Eleven. Eleven. Ravi Shankar. Twelve. Present sir. Thirteen. Present sir. Fourteen. Yes sir. Sixteen. Present sir. Seventeen. Yes sir. Eighteen. Present sir. Nineteen. Present sir. Twenty. Present sir. 21 present sir Sunil, 23 22 vaishnavi present sir 23 vinni right anything else do you have any doubt sir by 05 present sir Network issue, uh -huh. sir. BY05 present, sir. Network issue, it Zero five. Hmm, I think. Right. So, any doubt in the program? Okay. So, then you have to execute the program and write it in the record so when they when they are asking you to come down to college we don't know so you be ready with this so assignments and test late submission will not be considered for the evaluation deadlines you have to follow perfectly for the exam with respect to the examination with respect to internal marks that's all i can say you might have seen the lab internals who were written and submitted late submission they didn't receive the marks i hope that was the reason some of the people they have sent it once again that scanned copy so that will not be considered for the evaluation that's what the instructions given by the principal 
okay so timings everything we have to follow it because even we cannot adjust because google classroom even we have to send invitation to them also everything they are able to access it so we have it should be transparent late service it will show in the google classroom late submission okay